Hi friends, this is Lady Flora and I wanted to do a library book haul for you. Um, my daughter and I were doing a like winter snow themed unit and uh, these are some of the books that we got for the unit. Hi. <laughs> so all of these books I got from the library except for one which um, which I did buy on Amazon and I'll show you um, this is the one that I got on Amazon because it's Sybil Vaughn Offers on Olfers and um, I love her illustrations so much and I love the stories so much um, and we have uh, we have the root children which is really wonderful so um, yeah and we also have uh, the story of the wind children which is not as one, it's, it's good, but it's not my favorite. But this one was really good, I really like it. And um, it's just about uh, this girl who meets these like snow babies and then she goes to this palace and there's a queen and they have a great time and then um, she gets really tired. And, uh, and then she goes home um, in this sled with snow bears, polar bears. And um, since I love to do like a mix of like realism and fantasy, we got this um, Polar Animals book, which is really helpful for learning about um, the different polar regions and what kind of animals live there. So we learned about um, the Arctic and we learned about Antarctica and um, how, uh, how polar bears live. In the North Pole and penguins live in the South Pole and um, this book was really good and it's at a really um, simple reading level my daughter was able to read it uh, by herself and um, I really liked it except <laughs> this image of the snowy owl is really really spooky right um, but otherwise this book is really great Mouse and Mole, this was really great. She just like picked this up and started reading it. Um, and she really liked it. And uh, they make a snowman and it's really cute. Mouse and Mole. And of course you can't go wrong with this classic, The Snowy Day. Um, this book is so awesome. I feel like there's an animated version of it. Somewhere, um, maybe on Sesame Street or something. I don't know. I'm sure I saw an animated version of it. And uh, this book was also really good. Bear and Hair, Snow. Um, sorry, got a little baby out there who needs me. Okay, so this one was really good. My daughter really liked this because um, it's got all the things in it that she likes. Um, snowmen and people throwing snow up in the air and yelling snow and uh, we also got this book because um, yeah because it just looks really cool and this is by um, Barefoot Books and I've been seeing them a lot lately I, I found their website and I saw them selling um, there's like a booth at a market that I went to this one has really really cool illustrations um, really, really beautiful stuff, and there's like the two kingdoms of warmth and light, and then ice and snow, and uh, there's like a castle there, and it was just, it was really cool. Um, the story is, it's okay, it's not like the deepest, most meaningful story, but it's but it's a good book. I recommend it. And um, and we got this because um, winter in Florida is very, very short. And um, it's really just like a couple of weeks long. Um, and we're learning about, um, she's very interested in how the seasons change and what comes after, you know, what comes after this month and what comes after this season and what's next and all that cool stuff. So um, this book is really neat. Um, 
Three blue eggs sit there matching open sesame. Now they're hatching. So there's like, this book is just really, really cool. Really beautiful, exciting book about spring. Um, so, because that's part of winter time, right? Is looking forward to spring. <laughs> this one's called Abracadabra Spring. Abracadabra It's Spring. Sorry, I hope I've been saying the names of the books. I can't even remember now what I'm doing. Um, this one is uh, Through the Year with Grandma Moses. And um, Grandma Moses is an American folk artist. And she's going to be one of the artists that we study um, in the second part of Cycle 3 in Classical Conversations. So um, I got it because of that. And also because um, there's lots of snowy scenes. And, um, and it's through the year, so it shows the progression of the year um, and the seasons and stuff like that. So um, my daughter really appreciated that. And um, this is not really snow themed, but I love this book and I kind of wanted to get it on Amazon. Um, but I wanted to check it out from the library first. Uh, and it's just as wonderful as I thought it would be. So I might wind up buying this, but it's really just about how there are spirals all over, um, all over nature. There's, um, there's spirals to be found everywhere, and how it's a, a snuggling shape that snuggles in and grows outward, and uh, it's really cool. Um, really, really cool book. It's called Swirl by Swirl. And then this book. Um, I just knew I had to get it when I saw that it was a book of penguin poems <laughs> because that's so um, specific, penguin poems. So um, it's called Antarctic Antics, a book of penguin poems. And it's just that. It's all these poems that are like seemingly by penguins about penguin life. And, uh, and it's really really cute and I, I think I read the whole book with my daughter pretty quickly it goes really fast and it's just cute and charming and funny and uh, <laughs> we kept talking about regurgitate what does that mean to regurgitate and uh, that's that's been fun discussing regurgitation and uh, and there's this really cute one about trying to find which penguin is his mother and how like his mother makes a certain sound. <laughs> so um, this was my favorite, favorite book that we got besides the, um, the Snow Children. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's been a really, really fun lesson, unit thing that we've been doing. Um, just very casually, just exploring snow and ice and winter. And, uh, and it's been really fun to do and um, I'm going to have a blog post up about that very, very soon, so look for links to that, and, uh, and you can see what we did as part of our unit, and um, thank you so much for watching, and there's going to be more videos coming soon, and um, yeah, I love the library. Go to the library and get some books, and comment, like, subscribe, and share, and have a sublime day.